I'm Colleen McVeigh. And I'm Rich Barabi in for Stone Grissom. A group home worker tonight accused of abusing an autistic man in his care so badly the victim needed surgery. He's also accused of trying to cover up the man's injuries. Our Kevin Vesey has the story you'll see only on 12. The whole family's horrified. We're devastated. It's the last thing Erin Spano thought would happen to her nephew. 23-year-old Joseph Baruch covered in bruises after authorities say the autistic man was abused by one of his caretakers. He was treated worse than a dog. The incident allegedly happened back in February here at this group home called Life's Work in East Iceland. According to court documents, this man, Richard Garnett, forced Baruch onto a treadmill and refused to let him off. The victim then fell, fracturing his neck, and officials say the caregiver covered up the injury, never seeking medical help because he was afraid that he would be fired. Did you call for medical attention? But Spano tells us it's even worse than that. She claims her nephew was ripped out of bed while he was still undressed and viciously attacked. She dragged him to a basement, put him on a treadmill, and vigorously walked him so fast that the guy fell. And then when he got up, he beat the crap out of him some more. Now today, the suspect was arraigned on one count of endangering the welfare of a disabled person, which is a felony. But relatives of the victim tell us that charge should be upgraded. That's not enough. This is attempted murder. Can anyone comment about Richard Garnett? Nobody at Life's Work would talk to us. But a spokesperson for the facility did say Garnett has been let go. Meanwhile, the victim needed two surgeries to repair his fractured neck. Family members telling us they want his alleged abuser locked up before somebody else gets hurt. And we want justice for Joseph. We want the guy to pay the price for what he did. In East Iceland, Kevin DC, News 12, Long Island. Garnett was released without having to post bail. He's expected back in court next month. A